Anna Winter, the renowned fashion maven appeared at the highly anticipated Tony Awards on Sunday. As the glitz and glamour of Broadway's biggest night unfolded, the influential editor-in-chief of Vogue magazine proved again why she remains an unstoppable force in haute couture. The 73-year-old turned heads at the ceremony held at United Palace Theatre in a mesmerizing golden floor-length dress with short sleeves. Sporting her trademark page boy bob and dark sunglasses, Winter perfectly paired her look with open-toed white heels. According to his sources, Meghan Markle contacted Anna Windsor to ask to go with her to the Tony Awards, and Anna continued to reject Meghan's pleas, claiming that she couldn't give someone no longer worth it. She said more. They hate you if you go with me I will be hated too. So it looks like she's learned her lesson after being rejected time and time again by A-list celebrities. Three months ago, Anna Winter also banned Meg from attending the Met Gala. According to an expose in an SMG source, word goes around behind the scenes that Anna favors the actual royal family over the disgraced royals, Meghan, and Harry. Markle and Prince Harry have been snubbed by Hollywood because they lack decorum. Support for the Sussexes, particularly in the U.S., significantly plummeted after the release of Harry's explosive memoir in the couple's Netflix docuseries. The couple seemingly thought that they'd be embraced by Hollywood, but the claims made by Harry regarding the royal family have led the couple down a different road than they planned to follow. Harry and Meghan failed to receive an invite to any of the 2023 Buffer events, with it being reported that the couple were not welcomed at the 2023 BAFTA Tea Party held in Los Angeles last month. What's ridiculous is Meghan would literally be an absolute nobody were it not for her relationship with Prince Harry. It was Prince Harry that even brought her into mainstream attention in the first place. As Harry's popularity continues to plummet so is her significance. Back to News Awards the 76th Annual Tony Awards were this past weekend, which honored the very best in Broadway theater from the past year. In a statement, Jack Sussman, Executive Vice President of Specials, Music, Live Events and Alternative Programming at CBS, said of the show, CBS has been home to the Tony Awards for more than 40 years. We are proud to once again celebrate the best of theater this season, and continue our support for Broadway the broader theater community and all the incredible artistic talents both on stage and behind the scenes who bring the shows to life. This year's Tony Award nominees are a reflection of a tremendous year of Broadway, Charlotte St. Martin, President of the Broadway League and Heather Hitchens, President and CEO of the American Theater Wing, said in a statement. Drew Barrymore dropped out of hosting the MTV Movie Television Awards last month in solidarity with the writers, and the event moved forward in stripped down pre-recorded fashion. Film and television writers are on strike over complaints that studios have underpaid them for years, particularly when it comes to streaming programs that offer almost no residuals over time. They are also fighting back against studios' attempts to shrink writers' rooms, to shorten the number of episodes of television seasons and to leave open the possibility of replacing human writers with so-called AI programs.